In this episode, we look at some bread sitting in a station. We look at some bread sitting at a different station. And we look at some people sitting at a station. Hello everyone, it is California Bird here with another exciting episode of Transport Fever. And we continue our woes of the last game of having way too much cargo sitting in stations. Uh, so that is something that we're going to need to fix. Today we are going to be fixing the western food line. Uh, because there's just so much going on. We have tons of money to blow. So might as well do it. So real fast. The first train that needs to get upgraded is going to be the guy servicing the western cities. Uh, so that is this nice orange train. The sock bill cargo. So sock bill cargo will be getting replaced by... Uh, yeah, only eight cars. Okay, first off. Oh, it already is set for replacement. Well, it needs to get replaced faster. And we need more of those trains. So honestly, I'm going to probably put two more trains on the Sockville cargo line. Uh, just like that one. So we'll go ahead and buy trains. They're going to be orange again. Uh, we'll go with a nice bright safety orange. Uh, that's the wrong train. Dang it. Go ahead and... Well, actually... This guy is... No, he's slower. Yep, we want speed. Two of those, and we'll put them on the same train. And then we will go with the default color on the wagons and just bring this all the way out to 240 meters. So this thing will basically be overkill. Too many cars. Whoops. We will go ahead and duplicate that train and then set the line on that to Sockville Cargo. All right, that's the first train we need. The second train that we need is... This guy's not long enough, apparently. He definitely isn't. What's his length? Only 148. That is not long enough. The Southwest Food Line needs to be super long. And how many trains do we have on the Southwest Food? We've got we've got a good amount. Uh, let's see what we're being upgraded to. Oh, nope. This is not the train we're going to upgrade to. This is this is a mess of a line. There are just... Tra like, who designed this line? I mean, come on, guys. Or guy. Come on. I'm a California bird. Uh, so, let us, I know we're, this is the upgraded bull train, but we're just gonna get rid of that. Let's just not do that. Let's go ahead, set the vehicle as the, let's set them in black, go ahead and put two of those on there, and of course we'll do our wagons as per standard, and just dump all the wagons on there. So many, the wagons, and we will just go with that, and go for the replacement on that and actually I'm gonna have these two trains return to depots unable to find path to a depot where are you uh, let's see so apparently they don't want to return to a de uh, depot which is minorly awkward let's see here I mean it's kind of because there's a confusing like depot thing here so I think I'm going to go ahead and dump a depot right off, right off this line. Probably on this side since we're always going to be bringing food down. Uh, so let's just go ahead and do that real fast. Dump a depot right here. Oh, can I put a depot underneath the bridge? That'd be cool. The answer is no, the depot is too tall for this entire bridge. Alright, that's okay. Uh, we'll just go ahead and... Go with uh, something like something like that. Go ahead and dump. High speed might as well, right? I mean, there's no reason not to. It's not needed, but it's definitely necessary. Actually, it's it's neither of those things. Uh, apparently, this has too much slope. Yeah, because it's all the way down in a hill. Uh, let's see here. Another thing that needs to happen, actually, is this uh, track needs to get upgraded. I'm just noticing this. Uh, apparently, it does not like that. So maybe we will not put the depot here. Maybe we'll go a little bit higher up the terrain. Or actually, we'll just go on the other side. It'll be so much easier. Uh, we'll just put the depot right here. Go ahead and dump the track in. Actually... I just can't place things. I'll put the depot back here. Third times is a charm. 
Right? Right, guys? Alright, so go ahead and place the depot right there. And also stick another track coming out that way. Just like that. Like so. Nope, it'll have to do. Or will it? Oh, what is that? That's a interesting spline. Go ahead and... There we go. Oop, I saw it. There we go. Just like that. All right, there we go. And also, I need to... We need to upgrade... Oh, I don't know what that did. It, oh, it put down a, way more, a waypoint. Whatever. That's fine. It'll cost more to uh, deal with it. We need to go ahead and upgrade this stuff to high-speed rail. So, let's just go ahead and do that real fast. This uh, should also get upgraded. However, there's a road in the way. So, we'll go ahead and remove the road. Go ahead and upgrade this and then reconnect said road right back up. Just like so. There we go. That is not a bajankity chicane. I know I did that a while back, but that is really ridic ridiculous. Alright, so that should be pretty good. So, we'll go ahead and play forward with that. And actually, this train needs to... Uh-oh. Things broke. Things broke. Let's see here. You're going the wrong way, I believe. Yeah. You are definitely going the wrong way. So turn around. And... Head on into the depot. Let's see. Did the other trains break? You are broken. Turn around. What are you, what are you doing? Oh, you're waiting for this train. Okay. I was about to say. Oh, and here comes our super long orange train. Hopefully this uh, station is long enough, actually. I'm just realizing this. It is. It's a 240. Okay, perfect. I was about to say, oh, no. Do we have to redo a whole other station? Because this would be ridiculous. This station redoing it would need to push back, honestly, and take out a lot of stuff. Oh, but look at this train. Look at him go. What a beast. What a beast. He took care of a lot of stuff. Yeah, so cargo trains being big, definitely useful. And then we'll have another train following him, him right up. That'll get rid of most of this food. And also these long trains are uh, taking care of business, I guess. Yep, he's, uh, he's getting the food. I thought we had more food there for some reason. Uh, is something broken? Nope, we just, we need another train on this line, I think, to deliver more grain. Is really what needs to happen also. Because this guy probably wants to upgrade. At some point. As does uh, this guy. Yeah this guy will upgrade once he gets more uh, production. So then once that happens everything will be more worth. So and this is a long section. So we might as well do that. Just get some more grain trains on this. Because why the heck not. So these are the gray trains. So we'll just go ahead and might as well. We've got the money. I just buy one more on this line for right now. So go ahead and... Well, depending on the money, actually. Go ahead and buy two of those. And then just go with the default open wagons. And make it uh, super long. So there we go. 200 and... Oh, too long. 200 and too long. No, 240 meters. Go ahead. Actually, can we duplicate? Yeah, we can. Let's just set both of these on the southwest grain. Where is it? Western grain. Western grain line. There we go. And so now, uh, we should be able to up the production here, which will up the production here. Well, I guess the throughput here, which will up the throughput here, and then everything's good. And then we can justify spending all the money for all of these very expensive, expensive trains. And these guys need to upgrade because our faster trains are just like, come on, guys, you're slowpoke. And actually, this guy could probably... Where's the other steam train? He here? Is that the other steam train? Yeah, that's the other steam train. All right, so as soon as he goes into the station, uh, well, we'll just wait for the upgrade, really. It'll slow things down, but it'll be okay for right now. Yeah, so production is going back up and grains up. So everything, everything's pretty good, I think. Over there. Going back over here, I mean, we can't really keep up, but at the same time, we're at least not dying, uh, which I think is a good thing. Ven Ken needs more trains, and that's this line. No, that's Yeatley Ken. Welp. Well, let's just do that. Let's just put more trains on the Ven Ken line. 
go ahead and let's see are you full no you're not really full though that's the thing just everyone wants to come up here i guess uh but we'll go ahead and do it I mean, that's what we need we'll do it so we will get a nice beautiful finally we're getting another purple train purple and how many cars do these have one two three four five six seven cars so we'll do that go ahead and switch back to our white we're finally buying passenger trains again and we will go with seven cars on that so that was one two three four five six seven i only think we need one train that'll go on the uh what was that venken line uh that's venken there we go have him Head off. And actually, what we also need to do over here is upgrade stuff to high-speed tracks. Uh, because that is a thing that we need. So let's just go ahead and upgrade to high-speed tracks basically everywhere. Because we need it. Uh, it's uh, not happy about things. But yeah, this is also part of the reason probably why the trains are not moving fast enough. Because they're going on really slow lines. So no matter how good of trains I'm buying that's the issue they're just on slow track so remember guys upgrade your lines with uh, the proper tracks so there we go upgrade basically everything don't need that crossover I uh, can go ahead and plop that off plop those and uh, construction not possible doesn't like that too much slope we may have to go in and manually fix those in a little bit. We'll go ahead and let time move forward again. We're just rolling in dough uh, right now. We need more buses over here. I just noticed this. There's lots of people here. However, I think right here is a great place to stop this episode. If you enjoyed these kind of shorter things, definitely put a thumbs up down below. And if you want to see more Transport Fever, definitely remember to subscribe to the channel and follow us on Twitter at TheBirdsMedia. As always, this has been California Bird. See ya. Thank you.